Okay, well, if you move one muscle off that sofa, I swear I'm gonna strangle you. The CT scan came back normal. They took blood. They're gonna get more test results back shortly. It was a wasted trip. You collapsed right in front of me. I fainted because I've been living on caffeine instead of actual food for days now. What about the headaches? You got stuck in the elevator, you fell, you hit your head. I went to the emergency room that night too and they assured me it wasn't a concussion. <sighs> well then what can be causing them? Stress. Sending Connor off to school. Watching our new line fizzle. Leaving Adam, Chloe, all of those things combined, it's been overwhelming. I know, I know. I just need some downtime and a decent meal and I promise I'll be back to normal. Okay, well, I won't stop worrying until you get your test results back. So just finish your tea and then we can order in. You can have whatever you like. I am taking care of you, whether you like it or not. You are a wonderful friend. And you need to, you know, just let go of all the anxiety over everything that's happened so you can start to look ahead, start focusing on Connor in the future. You're so encouraging, and you're so supportive, and I really appreciate it. Especially considering so many people think I can't be trusted to act like a decent human being. Okay, I know you're going through a lot right now, but where did that just come from? There was a night not too long ago where I was in a really low place. You know, I was missing Connor, I was worried about Adam, and I suddenly felt this desire to reconnect with my biological son. Wait, you're, you're talking about Johnny? Well, I wasn't gonna overstep. I, I just wanted to see him. Maybe get to know him a little better, so I asked Billy if we could set up some form of visitation. Wow, Chelsea. I know, I know. I, I, I think I was just, I was just desperate, you know, to feel, some form of comfort. So how did the explosion go? Bad, it was really bad. Yep, Billy and Victoria, they freaked out. They made some awful assumptions. I'm sorry, but you did give up your parental rights, so I can understand why they were upset and I'm sure they were just taken off guard. I guess I just hoped that there would be some tiny bit of understanding, you know? I know that I have not been present in Johnny's life. I get that, but he still means a lot to me. Oh, of course. I mean, you brought him into this world. A sliver of empathy. But apparently for some people, that's just too much to ask. Yes, and six of the almond cookies. Do you have those? Okay, great. So how long is it gonna take for your guy to get here? Okay, great. So the food will be here in an hour. Do you need anything else to hold you over? I'm fine. I knew some time with your godson would perk you right up. You were right. It's because I know what's best for you. I guess you do. Which brings me to your fashion line, which I refuse to accept to be dead, if you're willing to hear me out on a few ideas. Go ahead. So remember when I, I suggested that you start working under an alias? Avoid all connections with Adam. Right, have to cut all ties. Okay, so I was thinking that we should kick up the whole secret identity game up a notch. So come up with a super cool brand name. It's not just about the individual designer, it's about creating an image, an emotion, a mystique that will entice people. That could work. I mean, I clearly don't have any ideas right now, but I can sleep on it tonight back at the hotel and- No way, you're staying here. Chloe, if you're concerned about my fainting spell, it's No, not... I, 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 I don't mean just like staying here for the night. I think you should just move in. <laughs> 